Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe this is going to be enthralling a match in the Dritte Liga. It's Bayern Wiesbaden and they face MSV Duisburg. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. Promising attack, this. But really sticking to the task defensively. Nielsen they've given it away into the advanced position flinging himself at it the keeper And there's the delivery. Can he put it away? Maximilian Thiel. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? And he's broken free. And that would have been quite the early boost for them. Well, it may be early in the game, Derek, but that chance has to be taken. It's a poor finish. take it away Jakobsen still passing it around with authority Mockenhaupt and giving it away Felcher, Ayani, big chance, oh wonderful save, well he reacts so quickly there, that's a great save. Trying to deliver it accurately, foiling them effectively. Doing well to keep possession. And the keeper more than equal to it. Over it comes. Danger averted. 
This looks promising. Looking for the angle. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, no end product. This looks promising. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Counter attacking very much an option. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Went in strongly, decisively. And now they have the ball back. And continues his run. Crossing opportunity. Jakobsen. Holkop. And it's with Nilsson. Over the touchline for a throw-in. And space for the cross. It is a decent-looking attack here. And let's give credit to the defending. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Volkop. Nielsen. Dominic Volkop. Useful looking ball. But it wasn't a taxing save. Well, as the stats tell us, they just haven't created enough chances. They need to get the ball into wide areas, get crosses into the box, and then oh, get their... Oh, Stewart's a chance! Well, how close was that? Inches away. Felcher. That is how to apply the pressure. Fry. Well, putting it wide from there, disappointing. And with play stop, they will make the change now.
possession given away, unfortunately. Can he play it in? Marvin Bacalort. It's a neat move. It's still alive. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one. But they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. defending absolutely spot on and they keep the ball good movement and still danger here well they can keep possession now getting forward and a penalty awarded spot kick coming up well some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card well I like that from the referee just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card I think he's got it right to extend the lead here and a goal he was composure personified, and he's done his job from the spot. Well, as you can see from the replay, the keeper tries to read the penalty, but he's sent the wrong way, and it ends up looking a very easy finish. Second goal for them here. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Did well to win the ball. closing down and now they're on the attack he's got to score and it goes to reduce the deficit still very much alive and kicking well let's take another look and wow how cleanly does he hit that the keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, this game will shortly be history, and the home side appear to be on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, give us your take. Well, it's been a fairly even match, but at key moments, they've just been second best. They could have defended better for the goals, and they've missed opportunities at the other end. It'll be a disappointing result if it stays this way. And breaking at pace with Menace. Tafferzhofer. Prokop. And a good looking ball. An important challenge, but they must remain organized. Cross could be useful. 
It comes to nothing in the end. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Must be! And just over the bar. Really good effort. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority in attack, Stuart.